Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. One of the big five. That's right, big five. I know, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. Like, what big five? What are you talking about? Yeah, there's been some, there's been some things going on in WWE lately. You know, ever since we last came here to you guys, when it comes to WWE, anyway. You know, I do, I do very sporadic stuff with the WWE, but on this channel, you know, we talk about usually the big big three or four pay-per-views each and every year and this year is no exception 2022 for the wwe is already off to an interesting start you know changes to people's names aside like walt like from going from walter to gunther yeah that's kind of stupid all sorts of different releases have been happening as well you know it's still the rumors of is Vince going to sell the company you know just permeating throughout you know the, the whole thing, and then of course you know the Peacock thing hasn't really—it's been all right, but I mean you know, it's it's something. But let's talk let's talk about the product itself. The product itself, you know, the WWE itself, the product that has been shown over the past few months has been nothing short of you know, seven out of ten type stuff. It's getting better than what it has been. I'll tell you that much right now. A freak acts the a freak you know situation you know a freaky situation in which you know earlier this month in fact the first day of this month because you know it was pay per view day one you know Brock Lesnar was supposed to go up against Roman Reigns that did not happen and now you got Brock Lesnar as the WWE champion once again with Paul Heyman by his side yeah that storyline finally has come to a conclusion and now Paul Heyman is back at the side, you know, of the beast who is definitely, you know, going back to like, you know, that late 2000s, you know, or rather that mid 2000s run he had where you know, y'all remember that feud with Eddie Guerrero, right? Yeah. Brock is definitely having fun out there. <laughs> He's having fun out there now. Um of course, this is the Royal Rumble, so the Royal Rumble matches to do they're, they're going to be taking place, and a lot of people, a lot of speculations and stuff like that have been going up. But we'll talk about those in a minute. Let's talk about these other matchups first. Um, and this is a matchup that has been long time coming. Again, one of the guys that I think a lot of people have wanted Brock Lesnar to take on for quite some time is Bobby Lashley. And thank the gods we got that matchup, you know, at the last second. You know, it was a five man match. At the last second, in which Brock Lesnar won, of course, so it likely, you know, likely he says that, hey, Roman Reigns is probably going to lose the title at day one, but who knows? You never know what Vince and the guys and, and WWE's production staff are thinking, you know. You never know. You never know. So we, we really don't know. I personally would have thought that, you know, this WrestleMania coming up, that Roman would lose the title, but I mean, I don't know yet. I, I really don't know. And, you know, but... but, but Again, let, let's segue back to this match. And you know, there was a there was a time, you know, like a couple months ago, there was like an article that said, you know, like Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar are not interested in having a match with each other. And that is, and I, I find that article such bullshit. I find that article such bullshit. It's bullshit. We've been dreaming. We're finally getting a singles match between these two absolute units. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean these two are kings. <laughs> they feast upon everybody on the roster. That that's 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 how big these guys are. That's that's how much the drawing power of this match is. Like these are two big dudes. These are two big dudes. You know, and if, and if this were a real match, because both these guys do have real, you know, you know, real backgrounds in, you know, um, other sports. You know, like boxing and then and, and um. And MMA and stuff like that. So you know, like these boys could be hitting these dudes could be hitting for real, and it and, and this could this could definitely hurt. Um, so this WWE Championship match, I don't know how this is going to go because I mean, you know, it seems like Brock is appearing a little bit more now. Again, he's having he's having he's definitely having the time of his life. Bobby Lashley, you know, lost the WWE Championship quite a while ago to Big E. And fortunately for Big E, you know, that I don't think the run ended for him as well as I would have thought it would. But I mean, I, I mean, it, it, it's just another case of, you know, people not really, you know, it's the same thing that happened with Kofi Kingston when he won the title, you know, a couple years back. And, you know, people are like comparing that because remember Brock beat Kofi 
in, in that SmackDown when SmackDown debuted on Fox a couple years ago. You know, that whole thing, you know, now people are like, oh, well, this is about the black champion and things, and, 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 and it's, it's, it's just, it just gets out of hand when you try to talk to WWE fans. It gets out of hand when you get race involved. We know, we know, we know WWE does not care. <laughs> At least Vince McMahon does not give a damn, you know, for the most part about things unless it impacts his money. He, he does not give a damn about if, if something racist is said, if something racist is done, you know, if something, you know, bad happens, I mean, it, it's Vince McMahon, you know. Half the time, he doesn't really give a damn. So, that, that match, this matchup again, you know, Brock Lesnar versus Brock, not Brock versus Brock, but Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley going to be one hell of a matchup here. I'll tell you that much right now. The Raw Women's Championship, yeah, it's 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 something now. It's it's definitely a thing that's just kind of existing. Like both the women's championships probably need to be merged because I mean, you know, Becky Lynch came back, you know, a couple months ago at SummerSlam, and it's just been uninspiring feud after uninspiring feud, and now Dewdrop or rather Piper Nevin, you know, if you know her on the indie circuit. You know, she's challenging Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Championship. And, of course, you know, other challengers have surfaced for the Raw Women's Championship as well. You know, Bianca Belair is still in the picture. You know, a lot. Again, definitely a star in her own right. And, a lot of, and again, we'll talk about her more as we get to the Royal Rumble matchup and stuff like that. You know, um, also the whole Liv Morgan thing at day one, when, which that was actually a pretty good matchup between the two of them. I mean, and that was just, I, I just, I'm just not invested again. You know, unfortunately, I'm just not invested in the women's division because the women's division just hasn't made me feel invested because nobody's getting built up. There's, the, the, it, it's kind of, it's kind of like college football in a sense. You know, which you got, you know, you got the four horse women. You got Bianca Belair, you know, who's rising up. And, you know, Oscar, who's been injured. You know, and then everybody else, who, you know, all the all the real all the real juicy stuff happens with everybody else. But you know, the class of the women's division is always the top, and people are kind of sick of it, including myself. So yeah, this matchup this matchup's gonna be real intriguing. I think you know, it's different. But I mean, again, there's just there's just nothing that I can say here that's you know investing for me nothing I can say that's investing Beth Phoenix and her husband Edge oh boy oh boy going up against the Miz and Maurice oh boy in a mixed tag match it, it, and this this came up you know from day one as well in which an absolutely you know this is another one of those dream pairings that I didn't think was going to be possible you know and a lot of and a lot of people, you know, are probably going to disrespect this man. But I mean, I think the Miz is one of the one of the best performers in WWE. Like he just is. Like dude attracts heat. Dude attracts legit heat sometimes. Like 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 dude is legit. And Edge, of course, you know, has come back and has made a impact. He's made an impact so damn well since coming back. And I. And of course, you know Beth Phoenix coming back in the ring. The Glamazon coming back in the ring. Oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna be one hell of a match. You know, one hell of a mixed tag match right here. You know, the legendary run, the legendary return for Edge continues, man. This that this is gonna be fun, man. This is gonna be fun. You know, the trilogy with Seth Rollins last year was fun. I mean, the WrestleMania matchups with Roman Reigns were fun as hell. I mean, this man just continues to deliver. The Edge continues to deliver. The Miz also continues to deliver. Like. Just delivers, man. And then, of course, you know, the big dog, the alpha, the head of the table, the universal champion, the guy who's basically been carrying the company on his back with this new gimmick the past two or three years now, Roman Reigns, going up against Seth freaking Rollins, one of the best performers, one of the best, you know, not just not just athletically gifted, you know, he's also gifted on the mic. I mean, Seth Rollins, man. What a matchup this is going to be, man. Let me tell you that much right now. You know, the Usos, they're banned from ringside. You know, they're not going to be able to get in on this. Of course, you know, no Paul Heyman anymore either. You know, so this is go this right here. You know, Seth Rollins has been wanting the Universal title for like six or seven months now. At the very least, like, Mance is determined to get this Universal title. And I think, you know, 
I, I'd rather, you know, again, I'd rather Roman lose it at WrestleMania, but I mean, come on. <laughs> any, it's any, it's any given, it's any given Saturday, and we'll, we'll talk about you know the Saturday thing in a minute. You know, but, but you know, again, one hell of a matchup here for the Universal Championship. What, what, what a great card this is, honestly. Like this is a great card. Of course, you know the Royal Rumble matchups. Let's go into those, and oh boy, things are getting interesting. In which you know, the man himself, Johnny Knoxville, has come in and said. Hey, I'm, I'm getting in on this Royal Rumble match. Getting in on it. It's gonna be it's gonna be really intriguing. Again, there's other guys in this matchup. You know, Vince Vince McMahon seeming you know he he seemingly likes Austin Theory, and that's another guy that's really been interesting over the past you know couple of months. You know, Austin Theory, what he's been able to do. Of course, you know, there's other guys in this matchup. You know, the whole Sami Zayn thing. I mean, again, just you know. Sami Zayn, you know, has had some ups and downs over the past few months. Kofi Kingston's always going to deliver in the Royal Rumble match as well. You know, of course, you know, you got Big Almost, you got Randy Orton. I mean, it, it's just a, it's just one, it's just a stacked Royal Rumble as usual. Of course, you know, you got the Mysterios in here as well. You know, it, it, it's just the stacked men's side of the Royal Rumble. And Big E, one of the guys that's being rumored to win it all, at least, so... You know, I'm not sure how that's going to go because, I mean, he's already won the money in the bank and got his opportunity at the WWE Championship, and people were, again, they were kind of lukewarm on his reign as WWE champs, you know. Like, again, kind of like Kofi Kingston, people were lukewarm on his reign. You know, things they, they things happen, but, you know, ultimately it was just kind of okay at the end of it all. So... Not everybody's been announced yet. You know, there's probably going to be some legendary superstars. There's only, at the time of this recording, there's only 22 guys announced for the Rumble. So we'll see how everything goes, okay? We'll see how everything goes. And then the Women's Rumble. Oh boy, like I said already, you know, Bianca Belair, definitely one of those women that is going to, you know, definitely, gonna, definitely a favorite to win this thing. You know, again, there's also the rumor of Asuka coming back. There's an even bigger rumor of, yeah, Ronda Rousey, who, who is, I mean, we, we haven't talked about Ronda Rousey in three years. That's how irrelevant she is, but apparently WWE's like, oh, yeah, we want some of that Ronda. Let me, let me get, let me get some of that Ronda Rousey up in here, you know, set that back up, you know, bring her back. So I, I don't know how that's going to go. There's also some other huge, you know, some other, you know, huge names that have been announced, of course, some legends like Michelle McCool, Kelly Kelly, Summer Rae, and then, and then, I didn't think this was actually going to happen, but I mean, apparently WWE acknowledged Impact now because the Impact Women's Champion, Mickey James, or rather the Impact Knockouts Champion, excuse me, my bad, um, the Knockouts Champion, Nikki, Nikki James, is coming on over for the Royal Rumble, of course, she was with WWE. And then, you know, things happened, and then, you know, she got released, and it, it turned into a whole spiel, and now she's at Impact, where, you know, Impact's doing all right themselves, you know, they're just, it's okay, you know, it's okay at this time, but, but man, again, the Women's Royal Rumble is going to be really, really interesting as well, I think, in my eyes, this is, again, you know, it's it's unpredictable when it comes to the Royal Rumble matchups. It's really unpredictable how these how these two matchups are going to go. You know, it's, you know, because, I mean, 30 men, 30 women, only one can get the prize of getting that, getting that stipulation at WrestleMania to get the, you know, get the opportunity to wrestle for the championship of their choice. And again, I just, I just don't know. I don't know who's coming out of either of these matchups, man. I, I really don't. Like, so. And there's also the thing, you know, the thing is now is the WWE, you know, has been doing a lot. They're doing a lot of, they're doing a lot less pay-per-views. They're doing a lot less, you know. There's only 11 scheduled this year, which is really, really fun. I really like that a lot. You know, makes, makes things a lot easier. You know, my, my Sundays get a lot easier, you know, to navigate around, you know, now. And, of course, you know, also, you know, the fact that, you know, again, most of these are on Saturdays. I mean, you know, that, that that's just really, really intriguing to me. That That's just really, 
really good stuff right there. You know, most of these pay-per-views are going to be on Saturdays now. There's only 11 of them this year. I'm not sure what NXT is going to do because, I mean, again, NXT has been basically rebooted to, you know, being a developmental property again by Vince McMahon and company, you know, so I'm not sure if there's going to be any NXT, you know. I know there's at least one confirmed that could stand to deliver, but that's the only one right now, so... Again, I'm really liking the prospect of a lot of Saturday pay-per-views. That's really, that's really, really the good thing. You know, frees up, frees up a day for me to, you know, either relax or go to work or something like that. That frees up a day. You know, Saturdays, all, Saturdays should, should be, you know, the more of the norm, and I'm really liking that direction. So again, you know, everything, everything's gonna work out. Everything's gonna work out fine, I think. So, you know, let's enjoy the Royal Rumble on Saturday night and I'll see you back here early Saturday for those conference championship previews for the NFL. See you again soon everybody. Take care. Have a good weekend. Let's rock man. Let's rock it.